Hello, everybody, and welcome to Perspective. Well, you have your girl, Pam. I'm going to give it to you my way. Got your boy, Carlos Mack. Definitely going to give it to you my way. Hello, Miss Pam. How you doing today? What do we have going on today? I know it's some juice because you like juicy stuff. Yes, I wanted to talk about, and I, first, before I start the question out, Carlos, I want to just put this out. Mm -hmm. There are good black people. Okay. And we're all not against each other. So this okay. is not about um, all black people or anything like that. But the question of the day is, why do we fight so much among each other? Black women always got drama with other black women. Black men, young black men are killing other young black men. Why are we like this with each other? And... What can we do to change it? Like, what's our issue? I wanted to have somebody on here to talk about mental illness, but that's something we'll do another time. Okay. Um, we'll try to get somebody, you know, to talk about mental illness in the black community because I feel like a lot of our trauma and our anger among each other or against each other, it runs deep. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, we got a lot of angry anger against each other. Uh, it's been pitted in our culture for a long time. So um, I don't know. Depending on how far back you want to go. You want to go all the way back and go all the way back to the to 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 when we first um I'm not gonna even say when we first were introduced to this country because I truly believe we were here before that, but when we were introduced to the country at how it is now, um the beginning of slave trade, etc. Uh some of the tactics there were just basically to put us in a situation where we hated each other. Um hated ourselves and then um you have stuff like house negroes and field negroes and then light skin dark skin and then you just keep on pouring fire on it from there and pour gas on that thing from there uh what does it say what did i think you guys say today miss sapphire we were definitely here before columbus yeah we were here there's statues that i mean that's a whole nother subject we we're here we have monuments, um, what they call megaliths, I believe, where giant heads made out of stone of Africans. We have um, pretty much every single indigenous population from Indians, etc., have stories of, of black people coming from Africa. And if, if you don't want to go there, you can look at it simply. If you look on the map, Every place in the United States is closer to Africa than Europe. All the way up to Maine, California, it's a lot quicker to get to, to America from uh, Africa. From it's, it's a lot quicker to get to America from Africa than it is from Europe. But that's a whole nother subject. Thank you, Sapphire. So what were you saying, Pam? What was... Um, I, I was just saying that, you know, um, you know, we need to talk about just black people fighting each other. You know, what, what do we do wrong? And what are we doing wrong? Why are we so why are we so angry with each other? Why are we so angry with each other? But we oftentimes are so forgiving when it comes to anything else. You know what I'm saying? Like I feel like black people are one of the most forgiving um races mm. when it comes to other people doing things to to us, right? Okay. Okay. But when we are when but when it's about what someone does, another black person does to another black person. It's vengeance. Vengeance. We're just angry. We want to fight. We want to. We want to kill. We want to. You know, uh, and that anger is like, where is it coming from? When it comes to blacks against blacks, we oftentimes we talk about we we talk about, and we don't want to talk about black black on black crime because oh, if you talk about black on black crime, why are you bringing attention to it? We need to talk about these things. We need to talk about black on black crime. We need to talk about black mm -hmm. women being so angry with each other and want to fight each other or just having so much drama with each other. And we get right. it. Not all black people are like it, like this. You get what I'm saying? Right. Not all right. black people are angry. Not all black people are mad with each other. Mm -hmm. Not all black people want to fight each other. We get that. But we're talking about in the black community, why are we fighting so much against each other? Why are we bringing our property value down with all the stuff that goes on in our black community? We already faced with so many different obstacles 
why are we hurting each other? You know, you have, even when you file your taxes, <clears throat> um, they have been research done that even the black person that files his or her taxes is discriminated against. Hmm. You, wouldn't, you would think it would be a fair thing across the board. Anonymous. But it is well, relatively anonymous without the racial card. I don't know. I've I've never thought about it. Have I ever placed a uh a check mark under black for my taxes? I don't I mean I don't know if there's some sort of correlation to that because I've never remember seeing check your your race on there. Um right, maybe well, if there's some sort of benefit for minorities. Um I'm not really sure how they know what race you are. But um right. off the name uh maybe is that what you're saying? Well, I, I don't want to really get into that per se and go okay. deep in it because that's just some some things that has been researched just recently. Okay. And uh and, and just even the housing market and how our our community is always lower valued. Um oh, yeah, predominantly black communities have a lower value, property value than any other um community. That's you know. Right. Those are things like that that we're already faced against. And no matter, and, and I'm gonna even just go this far. You know, when we go and try to apply for loans, I know this this hits home for me because mm -hmm. because you can be the perfect candidate and still get denied. You they can, can tell you that you have everything, you can do all the right things, and you still get denied. And I don't believe that everybody is faced with that. So why are we fighting against each other? so much when we have all these other obstacles that we need to face in the real world like why are we killing each other why are we angry with each other why when another black woman see another black woman it's always a read a read <laughs> it is a read. i mean i'm not saying all black women i'm just saying a lot of black women mm -hmm. we 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 will we'll look you'll look the girl up and down and you reading them and you mad with them already you don't even know them right you don't even know them why we give black why we do we give black businesses such a hard time why are we promoting this is why i don't go to black businesses this is why i don't just you know and, but we we go back and forth to the chinese store no matter how bad they treat us we go back oh. to Walmart, no matter how poor service we get. I honestly we don't think Popeye's chicken, no matter how bad they treat us. I honestly, I honestly don't think that it's uh um necessarily that we give other races such a big pass as far as attitude is concerned, as far as fighting. We fight with other races and we show our anger, we don't forgive, so to speak, across the board. I think we have plenty of pent up frustration towards um white people when it comes to racism when it comes to these things now what you may be talking about in essence is a fear of another race maybe a fear of what might happen but you're not as afraid to to set it off in your own neighborhood but if you go to beverly hills you're gonna act a little different because you know the response is going to be significantly different from authorities so it may be a, a subconscious thing there i can't hear you Thank you, you Mike. So, there you go. Um, yeah, so I, I think it's a I, fear I of other ways. I don't think is, it's I don't think I don't think it's that. I think that we're angry with each other. What, we're I mean, angry what, what with I'm each saying, other and we're huh? I'm saying I'm saying we're both. I'm I'm saying we're just we're very angry, period. We're not I mean, you know how many videos I've seen of of, of black people basically um fighting uh white people over a word over whatever i mean we'll set it off too I'm, like i'm saying it's not necessarily that we're afraid to fight or that we're not angry we're just situational it's the same reason why we set it off in our neighborhoods and we ride in our neighborhoods but we don't go to other neighborhoods and riot you know what i mean okay. it's because we know that it's going to be a different response it, mm -hmm. then us turning it up in our neighborhood now the now the first part of part of that is is that we've been trained to anytime you have a lower level of uh economics in the area you're gonna have mm -hmm. people fighting for resources you're gonna have people who are um 
basically having a hard time coming up the economic scale and they're doing right. things that are not necessarily above board because those are the only not only but it's those are the easiest ways to make money and then you get the police officers who are who are concerned with okay there's an illegal drug in this area and an illegal drug in this area but then they only go to th this area because this this drug crack or weed is the is the is an evil drug but then heroin and etc or, or some other um exotic drug pills all these other things meth they're not as they're not looked down and by the police as the priority when you got and drugs in suburbia all over the place cocaine but they don't look on look at that the same way right but see that's that's the, that's the thing so that's another barrier that's another issue that we're faced with as a community but we're still mad at each other. We're still angry with each other. We're still fighting each other. We're still tearing up each, each other's communities. We still, you know, mad. Right. And and then it's so mad. It's so unfortunate. Unfortunately, that we have black. Um, we have white. The white community that looks at black women as angry. You know why they look at us as being an angry black woman? Because we are loud. We are mm -hmm. emotional. We use our hands a lot and all of that stuff. But I think they have a different perspective of us if we all treated each other with respect. If we all showed each other that we cared or that we that we're we're on the same team. I mean, we're we're I don't definitely. Think, I don't think there's a lack of respect within our community. How can we ask for people to respect our community, respect mm -hmm. us, if we're not respecting our community and we're not respecting ourselves? Right. You got you got a couple of different things that you're saying, kind of all together. First off, no, we I'm got not, plenty. Of, yeah, all... Wait. What I'm saying is okay, that go we got different separate issues going on. For one, we okay. will whip you. We will, in a, in a lot of sense, we'll smack you in the mouth for the, quicker than somebody else. Maybe I mean, we're, and we're talking with our hands, in the mouth. That's and, the we're, and we're not just we're not just look, look. Let's be real. We're not just fighting ourselves. We do fight but amongst that's what ourselves. We're talking about today. Okay, so all right, well, fine. If you want to narrow it down, but don't say we're don't we're giving other people a pass. If you don't want to talk we're about more forgiving. that. Part. We're more forgiving when it comes to other people than we are when it comes to our own community. Okay. Well, I'll say this. And it's probably not going to be the most. Um, Make sure you uh, share this video. Oh, yeah, definitely. It's probably not going to be the most um, well-received um, response. But we have a hard time taking our our work serious we have a hard time taking our business serious for whatever reason and what happens is is you have a lower quality of customer service somebody comes into your your restaurant you're running someone else's restaurant and you give an attitude and you're not taking and that's that's just across the board I'm, I'm just tired we had an episode talking about customer service some way shape form or fashion Right. Of, of having bad service so we need to take some some responsibility for our own actions so that people don't 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 see us as the bottom of the barrel when it comes to quality service including ourselves we don't go out to our own restaurants because we have all this attitude going on you feel what i'm saying you go to a white restaurant and they're and they're all prim and proper and they give you even if they don't like you sometimes they'll still give you um that that baseline customer service if you go into a, a, a popeyes or you go into a, a black establishment and they if you if they got an attitude you're gonna feel it period the customer service standard is there so if you if anybody disagrees with me then um won't you go to any restaurant in augusta and you tell me how many times your food gets messed up or you get attitude from somebody who's doing they're getting paid to do that job that's real and I do want to tell our, our um, viewers this. If you click on and watch the show, we don't know who's on the show until you comment. I you think that a lot something. of people think that because we're live, that if they click on, we're going to see who pops up. 
we can't see who's popping up we don't know who's watching right. we only know only if you comment if if you know that's the only way we'll know that you're watching right so Carlos, what you're saying about uh the restaurants well what i was saying was is that the quality of service is a is indicative of how our attitude is towards our community towards pride in our homes um and you know the way that we upkeep our homes even if we're renting or not it's just certain things our, our attitude towards things is a lot more i don't give a sh crap right you know what i mean right. and i think mm -hmm. that starts with how we're raising our kids how we're raising ourselves um it, it all starts from the kids most of the time it's too late once these once anybody is an adult to change the way they've been living their life their, their entire life so you want to know right. why we're fighting amongst ourselves because we're not training our children we haven't been trained as children because it's our generation well or in, in the last generation that's fighting it's not the babies per se we're talking about adults and right. they, they their home training has been subpar and you, i mean you, you know, if you don't agree with me i really don't care because it's common sense you train well, somebody to like, be a butthole they don't no, be a but butthole. That's the thing. We've been fighting each other for years. When my mom them was young, they was fighting each other. Mm -hmm. And when I was a little kid, I seen grown people fighting each other. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, it was always a fight, always the anger. Now, mm -hmm. believe me when I say as a black community, you know, you can't come into our community and start something without a fight. That's right. another thing, too. And who, train, and who trained them to do that? Who train these kids? I, I go through the hood. When I, I go through the hood, I, I, see, I see adults. I don't think it's training. I it think is, it's less. absolutely training. You see, when you see adults in the neighborhood standing around, little kids saying, "Yeah, get them." Oh yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, How's how that not yeah. training? You might be in boxing class. Right, right, You're right. Absolutely training and, them to do that. And but and then also too, you also have to know this. I rem I remember, you know, my brother telling me when I was little. <laughs> You better not let so and so beat you because if you do, I'm gonna beat you when you get back. You right. know what I'm saying? So we, all, it, it was always a, a reason for us to defend ourselves for something. Right. Why, you know, you growing up, you shouldn't have to be fighting each other for nothing. Right. You know what I'm saying? You mad because a black kid is smart? Oh yeah. You can't be a smart black kid in a black community. But I get picked on. Oh yeah, absolutely. It's like we gotta change this. Mm -hmm. We have to make a change for all of this. We have to stop being angry with each other. Why black women roll their eyes at another black woman? Want to fight another black woman over what? I don't like the way she looked at me. I don't like the way she did this. Pretty, I, I'm just gonna be honest to all the ugly black women out there. You're mad sometimes. You're yeah, mad ugly because black, another ugly girl black is women. pretty, <laughs> right? But you guess what? You're beautiful too, but yeah. you're ugly inside because you're mm. so jealous. It's number That's number one. What makes you ugly. Yeah, it's not that. It's not. It looks all. Of, it, it's mainly it's, the way someone acts that carries right. over it's to inner, how you I, I how you're some, perceived. Right. How you exactly. perceive is how you act. Exactly. And if you show love and you show respect, you know, whatever, you know, it, they had this little thing on um, Facebook where they had the, the black girl with a little ponytail like this. She was the best fighter in, mm. in the neighborhood. Okay. And and the, the problem was with that is she wasn't feeling good about herself. If you the best fighter, you always fighting in the neighborhood. There's something deep down inside of you that need to be checked. And a lot of times we're told that black women, black kids, we we don't have mental issues. We're supposed to be tough. We're supposed to fight. A, we don't. They don't. We don't believe in counseling in our community. We don't believe that there's some is, deep issues in our community. Everything is pray about it. Yeah. There's some things we just can't. You just can't just play, pray about. You right. need help. Mm -hmm. You need help. Well, there's and a we lot of be PTSD. real with this situation that's in our black community. All this black on black crime. You can't blame it on the police when you're doing this yourself. 
What? You I can't believe, I can't believe you said that. You of you when, when y'all I... scared of each other. Okay, that's a first why you, case. Why you got to carry a gun around? <laughs> why do a black person in a black community <clears throat> feel like they got to carry a gun around because they scared? I don't want to be, you know, caught up in the wrong. And then you expect the police not to be scared of you? The white people carry around guns, too. I carry a gun we because I, that's white people today. That, we can't do that. It. You can't do that. You can't isolate black people and say, oh, we ain't talking about what, what the, I'm you know talking what I mean? about the issues that are going on in our black community. Well, here's the issue. Yes, sir. Here's the issue. We have a lot of things, like I said, have already been put in place. We're talking about our uh, so our economic situation, which is to me, when people pay good, they act a lot better. When you got something to lose, you act a lot better. When you got a nice, when you got a nice house, you tend to take care of the stuff a little better. When you got, when you got, you know, a nice, a uh, uh, nice car, and you have nice things that you pay for, fight for. You tend to not want to bust up your house and fight people in it. You or lose what I'm your saying? job, or if lose you work your job, and you got a good job. Yeah. you don't want to go to jail because you're right. gonna lose your job. So economics is a is a big part of uh, how people act, and if they're not getting paid well. Which a lot of people have a problem with minimum. I, I, yep, yep. I'm gonna go there. A lot of people have a problem with minimum wage being higher. My thing and is, let me let me finish. Let me well. Let me finish. You need to go out and get your education and look, do something angry, better with your life, and angry, stop blaming angry, McDonald's because you angry can't black eat angry black lady stop with it. all the attitude. Give me a second. All right. What I'm saying is, is that no, you didn't. Yeah, I did. You said it earlier. So. I don't, you know, about make me forget my point, but minimum wage, minimum Sorry. wage. Thank you. Minimum wage is that it's minimum. So you paying somebody minimum, guess what you're going to get? You're going to get minimum subpar. Look at Byron laughing. What's up, Byron? Um, if you call me angry black woman. Uh -huh. Um, <laughs> you, you're going to get subpar, uh, service. Um, when you're paying someone to do a job, and they're only getting five forty something or whatever, which was for years and years and years for twenty years, and inflation still okay, going let's up. See, you can't blame minimum gonna, wage yes, on a absolutely. person that's minimal. You minimal. That's why you getting minimum you know, wage. What if I'm you saying is, because you can't blame McDonald's and Burger King but and I can Popeyes blame, that I can are be, designed for kids' jobs to provide for grown men and women. Look, look if, if you, you want to, if you want a better job. Go get I'm training, take, go get an education, said. and then you'll get some more money. But oh, coffee. you can't blame that on, on that. Okay. You can't blame it on that. Okay, zoom out for a second. Zoom out of the immediate I mean, situation. Not, and let, listen, let, listen. Go ahead. If you're getting paid after taxes, 200 and something dollars a week. Get some where training. You, where do you, where do go you live Go to college. Oh, look. You, look. you can't blame McDonald's look. and Burger King look, and everybody, Popeyes everybody. because you're a minimum wage worker everybody and then you can't go to, to everybody's money. not going to college Stop. okay but so get a training look, look bill you can you can be at mcdonald's or bird king and become a manager okay let them know that that's what you want to okay, do you but mean, be a manager. okay well meanwhile you're still getting paid garbage then you're going to work well, then you're you going to live in the garbage area up. you got to work up the, to but the meanwhile train, you got to fight you can't come in and make it 15 dollars an hour boo boo Lord that's, have mercy. that's not for that is not a place for you to come in and make that kind of money you you're gotta thinking, get some training you're thinking to you're get, thinking too you're thinking too small you're not thinking about the big picture meanwhile no, you're working meanwhile you're picture. working meanwhile you're working this job and you're working your way up right meanwhile while you're doing that you're living situations you might have to slap somebody right next to you where you live in during that time you got to survive while you're working while you're in school while you're in high school while you got wow. kids and you can't it's afford to go to school whatever your situation is this, this ain't this that that this is not see now this right here is not a black or white thing. It is this a black, individual it's a, thing. No, it's not that's because I'll air because I because because get the same amount of money. I can, see you're very, I can see you're very passionate about this, but I would like for you to give me a second to talk, please, ma'am. Thank you. Yes, yes, sir. Okay. All right. Let me As move, I was, look, you know you, you, can you know you Trump, can do this. I'll Donald Trump you all day. Okay, so here's what I'm saying. If you have a community where everything is economically structured from the districts to the school system where people drop out 
because their school has the less amount of resources and you have all of these same people from the same area that the negative areas you're not putting a, a collective amount of people from good areas people from bad areas <clears throat> you're putting everybody from one area into this school okay first off so that's zoning so that's that right there is a black thing because you're zoning black people. i agree with you on that okay so we're that. talking about okay so now we're talking about children who don't even finish school so what that's education hey, are you talking about that's not that's hey that what, is their what, fault what, you don't finish school you, ain't got gonna, nothing to do with nobody but you and your family so what your you're mom, saying is I'm the same low thing these white family in a low-income mm, area Lord, that don't, you're saying the same thing these white the same thing white people say you ain't got no excuse you're in america you do not have an excuse not to finish school it's free what? You need to pick now your side. Not to finish school you in need, high school. To, it is free. I'm not going to pick, give. I'm not going to give Lord you a power now. You're gonna. You're gonna have to pick what you believe in. Because for one seat, one episode, you believe. Oh, we're oppressed. The next episode, you're like, oh, it ain't no problem. Believe, get out I, and get it. Which one is? I, I believe that our school system for in the black community needs to be better. But that don't mean you quit. So what, is, so what do you? That I, don't mean not, you quit. That means you finish and you graduate. That so, don't mean you quit. Because you ain't got the great, the best looking books, or you ain't got the best technology. That means you you had slaves that learned how to read with raggedy books. I can't give a black man today. That's, a, that's the greatest. Without, that's the greatest. Not, I'm gonna use that example. Right, not let's, going let's, through school. Let's I analyze cannot, that. No. Let's analyze that. That made a way, right? I might be the bad one today on the black on well, the me, black let's, list, let's, today, let's, but I love you, black. I love my black people. I just want to All say right. I cannot. Are you, are you, I cannot give. Are you calm, I cannot you need to calm give. down, ma'am. You need to calm down. Take a breath. Something. All right. Give me a second. All right. Check this out. You got. You just raised an example. Let's just go a little bit further back when 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 it wasn't necessary illegal to go to school, but let's just go to the times where it was damn hard to go to school. You had to walk the 10, 20 miles. To go, but they did it. Quit interrupting me, woman. I did it. Listen, all right. Mm -hmm. So you got how many of these people do you think actually made it to school? A lot. No, no, not a lot. No, it was but it was you, you during the forties, during the fifties, during the sixties. It was people the same. like my daddy. But you just said go that. You just said in the snow and walk compared to people that actually today get a bus to pick them up and take them to school and they choose not to graduate. Everybody did not go to school yeah. under those circumstances. Those were the extenuating circumstances. Just like everybody don't come out the hood when you've been trained since a little kid. You know how powerful it is, your environment. You got PTSD from a baby jumping on the floor as a kid to not have an attitude or chip on your shoulder from your environment. You trying to tell me environment doesn't did, matter? If you raised I, in a crack house, you don't think matter. your environment no, no, no. is going to matter? I said environment definitely okay, matters. So environment, environment matters, matters, matters. No but guess what? That's still no excuse for you not but to graduate from high school because it's free. You can't say environment doesn't want, matter. Y'all want to get everything free. You want, want education to be free. Then you want to turn around and pay somebody for not graduating high school, not trying to better oh, themselves. God. $15 an hour. I mean... So why don't why not pay them two dollars? I put a stop on. Well, that pay, why don't you just pay? Well, why don't you pay the people two dollars then? We don't pay one dollar. Why even pay them? Why don't you just go um give them uh uh some food when they come to work? And See, that's it. Now why you don't do that? No, I'm being no, I'm not. I'm trying to get. I'm trying to figure out what your what your angle is because you're a business owner. You're looking at it from. I'm I don't want to pay these damn people. Yes, you are. Standpoint. Yes, you are. Because you're not looking, looking at it from at a it realistic. From Point of view. This is a realistic point. No, it's not. This is a realistic point. It's I not, believe it's see, not we done went, we done went from why black people fight each other. No, to, it's the reason. To, it's the reason. It's the reason. I told you it's the reason. Money. The your money, your area, how you get treated, what you no, take pride not. in, how your kids so are you trained. Tell if your me kids a have young good black education. girl in high school is fighting another young black girl in high school over money. Uh, if she ain't got shit and she go to school and she see people with shit, she gonna take shit. Yes, money. That's what all this boils down to is an economic standing, being able to have good health care, being able to have good education, being able to have good food. I not have to worry about the today. area. Not I want where, to know where where our talk. audience are quiet today. Well, you ain't give me or the audience a chance to talk. But anyway, so all of these different aspects, right, have okay. 
a bearing on what you become and you can't use the exceptions to the rules so without find myself saying all the time to explain the rule i go to work i'm surrounded by a whole bunch of white people that say well if you could do it why everybody else can't do it you don't use the exceptions to the rule to prove the rule you got there's a reason why you got valedictorians right why isn't everybody a valedictorian because they work they didn't work as hard no, no, they, they didn't work as hard alone. they didn't work as hard maybe they're not in the same mindset maybe they don't have the same environment maybe they weren't trained by a mama that actually gave a shit about teaching them the abcs and they fell behind and then continues got put behind you don't understand you don't understand everybody's situation you can't put everybody in the same situation yes everybody that's has true. opportunity that is true. I, totally agree with, I totally agree with you on that so that's what? why it's important to 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 Make sure that you're raising your children in an environment where they have self-esteem, where they do like reading, where they do like math, where they do care about going to school and respectful. Otherwise, you're raising in a person who, after the age of seven, your software, you're writing your code and your brain stops scientifically. And everything gels and it becomes hardwired. And it's very difficult to, to change that person, even if they change their life. All that crazy stuff that they grew up with is embedded. And in some way, shape, form, or fashion, it's part of your attitude. And it probably come out in an extreme circumstance. So you can't say that your environment doesn't dictate who you are. Why do you think people oh, move yeah, to certain I, I areas? Certain areas? You... Why? Well, okay, you can't say that you agree with that, but then say you got no excuse. I, I guess that I agree with you on that your environment does dictate your, your, so your behavior. Reason. Your brain, the way your brain is developed, your right. environment does dictate okay, that. So, I you look, get so that. if your brain but, developed wrong, then what you gonna how you gonna act? You're gonna act uh, when you think you're gonna be a fine, upstanding uh citizen and everything's gonna be irrational. So, you're not taught rational. So Carlos, what if a part th this is my thing? Mm -hmm. Generational wealth is taught. Right. Generational absolutely. um how to get over on the government and how to be in low income homes and get food stamps is taught. Okay. It really is. They call okay. it a generational curse. Okay. We they call it generational curse. We can talk about curse. that. We can talk about right? that. Right. Mm -hmm. And I, I also believe that if you, with the technology of today, that you can go out, you can Google anything. My son says Google is the best friend. He's eight, nine. How old is he? I can't remember. Uh, I believe nine. He's nine, man. Nine. Thank you, sir. Thank you. <laughs> and he he YouTube how to fix stuff. He Googles every single thing that he wants to know. The way that we have with technology today, I get that there are some things that are going to be barriers against us, mm -hmm. right? But right. that's no reason to be mad with us that is a reason uh, is what there's I'm telling no you. reason to be mad don't say there's no other. reason that's ridiculous there's no reason to be mad at each other we just have to persevere we have to google what you need to know so you can get better so you can find what's <laughs> better for you in life Look, that's what, cut, I, that's what i'm trying cut, to say today it's real cut and stop dry. being so angry see you're giving people an excuse instead of a solution you can say an excuse you can use another word if you want to reason uh circumstance excuse whatever excuse word you want to use instead of a solution well my we point, gotta we, we gotta give we gotta give us some solutions if you don't exactly so if you don't know what the problem is and you're acting like there was no problem everybody should be good then how are you gonna find a solution you need to know what the reason is and the reason okay. is we broke as hell and we're treated mistreated by the police that's the freaking reason point blank so we need to know to get our politics together and we need to know to work on our economics as for our children but if you don't know that and you try to act like oh everybody is but you can't, be you can't say to do that. that mcdonald's and burger king is supposed to be those those way out oh you I know what say, i didn't it, say it, it can't way be out. a way out for everybody well man you gotta I did, do something I did not better say with yourself that. what i'm saying is the way that you treat the bottom of the barrel in society dictates how bad your society is going to be on that end how people are treated how people are treated as far as economically, as far as the way you police but them, these things determine, but if you don't want nobody to walk up on you and shoot you in the head in a certain area, then don't treat that area and make it a melting pot for those type of things. That's what I'm saying. We're creating the narrative for that by making these areas poor 
and poorer. That even if they had generational wealth, their grandma house, their great grandma house, it ain't worth shit. You see what I'm saying? So it's like you're you're making these zoning these areas, you're doing all this stuff, you're policing these areas to make them even broker. And when people are broke and they're fighting for resources, it get real ill. Just like let's just look at during the pandemic when people looking for tissue as a resource, people get crazy. You can't say that's not a reason for our our for black society to be the way they are. And if you're living in these areas, you being the calm, rational person is probably gonna get you jacked up and that's because you in those situations you have to be a stronger or and or more aggressive person and you have to show that aggression in order to eliminate it that's the bottom line so if you want us to fix <clears throat> ourselves you got to start with the bottom you got to start with the kids every single episode of back to the kids how we treat these kids in these neighborhoods what resources we give them what we give them once they get out of school matters. If we get them a, a, a sorry job while they're in high school and then they get and they have to work even harder or their mom has to work even harder and they can't even go to school, whatever the reason it is, or their school zone sucks and they got to fight every day. They get kicked out every day. They don't even get the diploma, but it's their fault because they got to fight for their shoes or they got to fight because they got pretty hair. These things all boil down to us having a subculture of our sub, of our culture the, you can if you got to fight every day your mentality is going to be different you can't expect people to just snap out of it and that's exactly what white people say they say y'all you know what y'all need to snap out of it well what about our impoverished area snap out of it well what about we don't get the we don't get um a, a, a good educated we don't get school teachers that are paid well they're paid well in this area so we get the ones that don't give a damn snap out of it well what about um our daddy's going to jail and our brother's going to jail or we going to jail for bs for little infractions for the rest of our life and they have to come out and our kids are raised without one of the parents snap out of it you see what i'm saying snap out of it snap out of it you can't tell right, people to snap out of their reality that's ridiculous right. And that's I, how actually, I actually agree with you on the fact that we can't just snap out of it. We can't just snap out of it. We got to make a plan, but we got to stop. I feel like this, no matter what our um, condition is, no matter what our situation is, we got to stop hurting each other. We got to stop fighting each other. We got to figure out how, how to lash out in a, in a, in a positive way. Instead of being so angry with that kid with the pretty hair. I think. I don't think it's possible to do it the way you're saying it because the the problem is too deep and it's not going to be corrected in a generation. So it's going to be corrected over several generations. Just right, the problem started generations ago. We it's going to be a conscious effort for us to become um, a very strong unit in this society and take it seriously. And it's not going to happen overnight. You, That's you true. just can forget that. Because so what we got to do is start the, start the ball rolling right now for the things that will set us up for that. We've come right. a long way. Real we talk. have. We have. And, and the reason why I'm talking about this today, Carlos, is uh -huh. we have the pandemic. I felt like the black community, it was quiet. Right. You know what I'm saying? It was a good quiet. Mm -hmm. You know, you didn't hear about so many fights. You didn't hear about, you know, you heard about people having mental illness or they're depressed right. or whatever, but you didn't hear about us fighting each other or us killing each other um, so much. Mm -hmm. But now that it's kind of opened up, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Augusta had had three shootings or four shootings. And I'm talking about within the last two, three weeks. Okay. Um, Graniteville and Gloverville have had several shootings, two or three or four. I, I don't I'm I'm losing count. I'm losing count. Aiken mm. have had several shootings. I'm losing count. So mm. many shootings within the last I'm even say month. In the last month, there's been so many because I want to extend it to Aiken too. It's been so okay. many shootings mm. and violence among each other. And it's just like why well, we're getting you why. out we're getting out but but i'm talking about we're, we're, bottom come line. on carlos bottom line so during bottom the line. pandemic we hardly had any shootings 
any hardly had that's, any knowledge. That's different. People quarantined to the house. Now, now they quarantine. Now they out and now they mad because they ain't got no money. They no, got they, no money they're, 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 they're out again. They're they're people are roaming the streets again. People going you know to night clubs again. People doing stuff. And I know you're gonna be mad at me about this. Mm -mm. Okay. But the people that don't didn't have money and they was on food stamps and different things like that, they had more money during the pandemic than they have had any other time. Okay. All these checks that been coming <clears throat> in, and you ain't wasn't working, you ain't had nothing. I mean, was that what are you saying? There's no reason to be mad about money when you got money for nothing. We're not taught. First off, we're not taught. First off, we the, the fact that we're excited over these checks speaks to the fact that we're not taught or about money, and 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 when we get money, we blow it and we, well, we, we go we crazy. Got, so you well, can't you can't. It's not a that's not a solution. That's not a long term solution. Long term solution is long term money, not short term quick money. Mm -hmm. It's ridiculous. That's not gonna solve okay, so it. So let me let me ask you a question, right? Are there poor white people? Yes. Okay. Have you been hearing about shootings in the white community lately? I mean, I know that I know there's a lot of white on white crime. Let's put that out. Absolutely. Not saying that it is. They shoot and the hell out of each other. It shows that there's just as much white on white crime as it is black on black crime. Right. So what's Let's your question again? While you're saying that, what's your question again? My question is, if white people fighting each other, I mean, if, yeah. if white, there, there hasn't been any white No, that's not true. You just, you just, you just, I mean, I, no, no, I, you just no, said no, the no. answer to your question. Yes. No. They just don't I'm show it on TV. Is, I'm talking about Within our black community right now, have you heard about black white people going doing drive-bys in a black in a white community? No, they just shoot each other in the woods or wherever they go. I don't know. They got the same amount of crime, they just don't go on TV. A drive-by is a lot more glamorous, but they shoot the hell out of each other. I mean, you just said that. There's the same, it's it's the same amount, it's just not glorified. It's not, you know, what I mean, it's not focused on by the media. And ourselves, we perpetuate it. We talk about it. You know what I mean? We might even brag on it. Yeah, it's such such thing. You know, they 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 had they got some get back. You know, whatever. So mm -hmm. our attitude towards it and the way that the so world sees like our wrong you, doing. Reason why, so you're saying the reason why we don't know about the the murders that's going on in the white community is that the media is not bringing it out. Absolutely. And that reason why we know about the black community is either because we in the community and the media is bringing it out. Absolutely. Absolutely. There's, it's not, it's, they're not going to perpetuate white violence. They're not going to do that. Now, I don't even care about if it's CNN, if it's any of them. They're not going to perpetuate white violence unless it's news breaking, like mass shooting, soft targets. Look like cute that. On this one. Your hair or my hair? I can. <laughs> you silly. <laughs> Thank I'm you. Joking. Shouts out, Trika. But, um, Basically, you have to decide how you want. You got to decide what's the what's the what's the issue. What you have to, we have to decide if we're gonna keep on talking about the violence or we're going to focus on why the violence is there. You see what I I'm saying? We need to talk about why we're, the we're talking, is we there, keep talking about we keep talking about okay. what's going on, but we're not talking about why it's going on. And as you know, all of you know, we, we speak uh solutions. I mean, I mean, my thing is, do, do you think the people that's really fighting they really want to work? Well, well, you got two different they really want to the in. people that are fighting, do they want to work? Right. Do they really want to clock in? Do they if they was able to Who make the hell wants hours to hours clock in? I get paid very well to go to work and I don't want to fuck clock in. Excuse my French. Okay, so okay. what are you talking about? So Who the hell wants to go to work? Is, so if you don't pay me to go to work and I can sit on my even, some people don't have any work ethics like it's they rather sense. not no, work on. and get over and Duh. why not is, why would you not who would not take that who would not take that that's that's just like if you can stay home with your family and not pay uh exorbitant amount for child care you can homeschool your child and that's what makes and and, 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 and and that's what makes people lazy you can call it what you want to i call it common sense if you're gonna pay me 80 grand to sit on my butt 
I'm not going to goddamn work. Why would I go to work? That, make, that doesn't make any sense. I'm not going to work. Most jobs. But how can you achieve your... the American dream if you never go out and work? Retirement is the American dream. Why people say I want to retire at the age of 40 or 35? I retired at 35. You know what that means? I ain't working and I'm paid. Nobody wants work. to work. I mean, you put work into it. There's a difference. Well, there's a difference between work. Well, I mean, anybody that's worked, any even a uh, a McDonald's job, you put money into the system. You would be right. surprised at the amount of money most people put into the system. But people like to complain, and then you know you got other people, Republicans, and all this, try to act like, oh, these people they broke and they're welfare and all that. They they're just sucking off the system. If you did somebody's hair and you went and spent that money that you did hair on gas or on anything else, you pay taxes. Whether or not you have some corporate, you know, track record of taxes. I'm looking my eyes. Pay, yeah, look at your eyes. Yeah, because you because you want to, I'm telling you, talk about it from a business owner perspective. You're not looking at it from a from a realistic perspective because if if you're a baby and you get an allowance, you pay into the system. I don't care how your money comes. You're part of this country. You're paying into the system. And that money goes to the infrastructure. It goes to uh, air traffic control so the planes don't crash into it. It goes into the roads. It goes into security, the army. It goes into managing the government. It goes with the police. Let me, you let me say this. So you can't I say feel somebody like that's who fair for you to <laughs> compare someone that don't work and them going into buying and sold them. Well, if you don't like it, you not, taxes. You not on, liking it. You not on. liking it. Because don't mean that it ain't right just because you don't like it. It's that's still right. correct. You can't, you still can't correct. compare eight cents to someone that pay like with me for instance. I pay taxes estimate. It's called estimated taxes every quarter. Uh -huh. I'm paying taxes. I'm paying taxes. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the year, guess who owe taxes? You. Me. Because you ain't pay enough. Because I ain't pay enough. Right. And guess what? When mm -hmm. I go to the when I go to the store, I mm -hmm. pay taxes. <clears throat> when I go get gas, I pay taxes. Just like the broke money. Do you understand? Yes, exactly. Yeah. So Just you like can't compare guy. somebody that pays a little bit of sales tax to somebody that really pay tax. Like I said. Here. Like I said. You'd be surprised how much you pay. Yeah, I'm talking about every food. every time you go to the store, do you get a soda? And if you, you get pay food taxes. stamps, guess what? If you pay with food stamps, guess what you don't pay? Okay, say you're not paying for food stamps. You don't pay with everybody does not get food stamps, and everybody's food stamps is not enough to survive off of. What planet you live on? You got to hustle. So if you hustling, you washing cars, you trying to say okay, because I'm washing cars, with... you trying to say because I'm washing cars, I'm cutting hair, I'm doing hair out the house. That oh I, um, I'm not a I'm not paying into the system because I get food stamps. No, that do doesn't you mean. Pay taxes you know what I say? Money? You know what do I say? You pay taxes on that no. money that you do a hair at I just home. told you. I just told you. You go to the store and you pay no, for a soda. No, I'm about, you pay taxes. You, you know the legal part of it is. You pay taxes. When, no, hold on. When you do that hairstyle at home, you supposed to pay taxes on that money that you make. You earn. Okay, it's we want to earn income tax. You want to you argue semantics? It's called earn income. You want to argue semantics about? Paying a fair amount of taxes when every single body in here that I, that I know of tries to find a loophole that and paying taxes. Who doesn't look for a loophole in paying taxes? You try to tell me you look for the greatest amount to pay. You look for tax cuts. You're not paying the ta total amount. Of, nobody I pays mean, that, the total but amount of taxes. You, that's why so you, don't you use tax, hire you somebody to taxes. taxes so they can <laughs> help you be able to get through those things that you need to do in order to get your the best. You you're, know, not you, you're not paying what you're supposed to pay if you if you hire one of those people to say, hey, you you show you gave you gave fifty dollars in clothes that this year, right? That's that that cheating. Is cheating. No, I'm saying that's if cheating. you get your real legit man or somebody that's really working, to no, 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 that legit man just knows what range to put you in. That's no, why you go to him. You don't that, mean you cheating because that is absolutely he, cheating. Mentality means a lot, right? I'm sorry. That what was that? means a lot. That don't mean you okay. cheating. Look, if that, you didn't every pay, every person ain't cheating on their taxes. I didn't say it. Well, I didn't say that, but I was insinuating that black, white, Chinese, Trump, anybody, they're going to look for ways not to pay taxes. 
So you're not paying your total amount of taxes. Somebody up or higher up should be like, <clears throat> you know what? But see, that's the thing. Y'all so part, y'all, you, you, we the shouldn't treat you the same taxes. way we treat everybody else. And you shouldn't get the same resources because you don't pay the same amount of taxes. But guess what? The rich barely pay federal tax. The rich barely pay taxes. That's not true. That, that is very true. You got stuff. You, you can look that up. Google it. Let me ask you this. If you got a company, say your company, say your company. You barely pay. If you're in the millions, can, you can, pay I, can I? Okay. So I'm you're, probably paying more taxes than a millionaire. Why are you so turned today? That is coffee in your. You got you got to be drinking some coffee or some whiskey or something. What is in your cup? Because you turn. All right, listen. Say your your restaurant and all the other ventures that you are going into makes you two million dollars a okay. year. A mm -hmm. year. Mm -hmm. Would you say you're rich? Or is, are you part of those? You're in the million dollar club. Are you one of those rich people you just mentioned that pay less taxes? Yeah. No. You're paying 30%. You're paying the most amount of taxes. That's what people don't realize. You're talking about the super elite. You're talking about S-Corps. You're talking about the high end of corporations because a regular corporation and an LLC, uh, which really isn't even about the LLC, but the the the... the um, I forgot the levels of it. You got your self proprietary proprietor. You got a self proprietor. It normally goes as an LLC uh, 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 and still have to you claim my point. I'm talking about taxes. Only I'm not... you have a limited liability against themselves personally. But go ahead. That was a whole lot of jibber jabber. I ain't talking about the L the uh, LLC. That's the legal entity part. Okay, that has nothing okay. to do with how you're taxed. Absolutely, freaking nothing to do with taxes. That's just covering your butt in case somebody slip and fall and bust their head on your nasty ass floor. But mm -hmm. what I'm saying is the you got you got your uh, self proprietor, then you got your um, your S corps, and you got your corporation levels, the C corp. C corp. All right, that's what I was forgetting. These are how you're taxed, and most companies are just C corps, and they're uh, self. I, I hope I'm saying that right. Self proprietor. Basically, you you pay. Self proprietor. You get, you pay your, yourself for the 1099. That's it. So right. you're taxed the most. And that's like 90% of the companies in this country, even the million dollar ones. The only time you get away from those tax cuts is when, you super, when you're on a, the, a super high level and you're in the S Corp and you're structured to be able to get these tax cuts you're talking about. But you can make millions and millions of dollars and still pay 30% of taxes, period. Well, well. As you know, I don't like to debate things unless I know for sure. But I okay. kind of think you're wrong on the million dollar one. But I'll have to research it before if I you debate win, it. Okay, if you win a if you win the lottery. And my phone is if dead, you win, so I if can't you win, Google it. Well, if you, well, just call me black Google for a second. All right. If you win the lot if you win the lotto, right? Mm -hmm. Ten million dollars. Bam. Okay. How much money are you taking home? I'm not even sure how we got to taxes, but okay. Oh, I don't I know. know. I know what it was. Oh, go ahead. So, how much money are you gonna take know. on? You're, you're gonna, gonna take, take probably seven. You're gonna take about seven million dollars, if I'm not mistaken. Home. If you make it that, if you make a million, you're gonna take about seven hundred thousand home. Okay. I mean, they're gonna take three hundred. They're gonna take thirty percent. Simple math. I don't right? know who laughing at me. But go that's, ahead. That's still, is that still that's still burn. But um, oh somebody. <laughs> Somebody commenting with a lot, a little smiley face. Oh, that's cute. Um, but the pro the problem here is that we're on the bottom of the barrel, and when we get a little, when we get when we get a little money, or a little, you know, status or a little business, then we start getting bougie. We forget to struggle. You feel what I'm saying? You forget. Oh, I'm not. You forget. That ain't me. You forget that even people with degrees have to take jobs at minimum wage sometimes. It might have to okay. take two or three till they get but till see, they get where they need is, to go. I, look, I am not being. Hold on, I want to. I want to correct that. That's oh, right. black Google. He was. She was laughing right. at you. That's right. Let's go. Um, I am not. Uh oh, I am not being um bougie at any at any way, any way, any way. I, I ain't mean like that. All I'm I want to do is funny. my thing is all I want to do is stop the violence and our community. I want to talk about that. I well, want to stop want to, the hate if you want among to, people, black community. Our black community. Happy I want to people. stop black people, black women being mad at other black women 
I want us to uplift each other. All right, listen. That, that's why listen. I'm passionate well, okay, tonight. Okay, you want all that, but wanting that is not going to do anything. Pointing out the pointing out the 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 infection is not going to cure the disease. You feel what I'm saying? It's not the cure. What if you want people to be happy? You have to pay them accordingly. If people are paid accordingly, but they take care. Let's say you, you, you pay them a million dollars. We're not talking it, about we're not talking about those people. We're talking about you want the people that were working before, because there were people that were working before that refused to work now. The simple fact of it is, they're not because they're getting paid more. You're proving my point. They're staying home because they're paid more. If they got paid more to go to work, they go to work. Bottom line. People that are paid more take better care of themselves, take better care of their kids because they can, they can afford to. If the child is struggling in math, they can afford to send them to school or get them a tutor, whatever, et cetera, et cetera. You eat better food, you do, you, you, you run, you do stuff. You just feel better when you get paid better. You did what I'm saying? You act better. Okay. You feel like in, in it, that's a direct correlation our economic I'm saying there's going to be unhappy people no matter what. You know how they say I'm the, not saying the, that. the people that are are, are the millionaires and, worse. and billionaires okay. are the, the our most unhappy people. You keep, Pam, you keep using the extreme circumstances to explain. Look, let me tell you something. If if I'm unhappy, because yeah. basically the people you're talking well, about listen, okay, people, let you're, talk, people let you're talking about are already already unhappy right so even well, if they okay, were broken said, up but there are a lot go ahead go ahead because you're, okay. you're really adamant about it. pay up? people what they're worth right that's a slippery slope what that. does that mean what about who's I'm, by whose standard of worth who are we talking yeah, like, about who's standard worth? of worth that's a but very that's good question saying. so what do you because mean by worth? You at mcdonald's boo boo you're not gonna get paid uh a whole bunch of money to work at mcdonald's to flip no burgers if you work in mm. if you working at savannah river plant guess what you're gonna get paid what you work because you work with nuclear plant nuclear um chemicals. You're gonna get paid what you work. If you're working at the hospital, a, a doctor, it, you can't expect a doctor. I'm not saying I'm not say, to get paid the same amount of money. Pam, you Pam, just ain't gonna get Pam, it. Pam, Pam. I did not say pay a McDonald's employee the same as a doctor. It's not what I said. What I'm, I'm trying to get at. What I'm trying to get at is that you. To get your and work. some things you shouldn't look. If I'm doing construction, why do I gotta go to college if I'm cool with that? If you, you tell me I gotta build, look, but you, I should be getting paid. But guess what? Because I work a hell of a lot harder than, than somebody. Someone, who, and you got to get it. You got to get it. There's plenty of people that get paid eight dollars, ten dollars an hour, and they build homes for people. You see what I'm saying? It's not necessarily directly correlated to your education either. What I'm saying is, is that the I'll minimum say, wage. Your homes make eight dollars an hour. You, oh, oh, word. Uh, okay, well, um, this is an example of Black Google. Ask Black Google because I built homes. I've been in construction. Okay, I started okay. out. I started out with minimum, less than minimum wage at a place called Trojan Labor. That's a day labor. They pay. They paid the How minimum many wage. How years was that, Carlos? Five years. That's not. That's like, when I was paying five that, was, no. that was, Okay, that's not that long ago. You trying to act like that's longer? You trying to be funny like that was the Stone Age? That's. <laughs> That's not that long ago. You've been in business too long. I just I, because you don't I'm even know what a regular crazy. job pays. You did. They just changed minimum wage within the last couple, within the last say five to ten years. But inflation's always been going up. The price of housing's always been going up. But the minimum wage goes up every five years. So you're saying you should still be I, paid the same is, amount? I, I that agree that sense. minimum wage should go up slightly depending on the area that you're in. I okay. do agree with you well, on at least that. We met, we met like, in a little bit of hey, you, you agree with me on that. You just don't want to pay. Man, you need to pay these people. Quit being a um, sweat, running sweatshops or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Trying to trying to get people to work for free. You no, I'm not. People. I just I'm saying if you are work, depending on where you're working at, it's going to depend on what you should get paid, and you cannot no. expect. I, I mean, I'm just, I'm just saying, you cannot expect a job that was designed for young high school kids. You're, you're backpedaling. Kids you're backpedaling. To be a you, job. You, you just for, said you get paid more. Which one is it? I'm saying yes, it should. Okay, so don't say don't. But don't I'm say saying you can't depend on the job. Depending on the job, if you're not, what? if you, you can't depend on the job. What'd you say? Depending on the job, you should not, um. Minimum wage cannot pay rent. Minimum wage is not supposed to be for people to pay no rent. That's the point. You got to get another job. 
you gotta you gotta educate yourself and, and then, get okay, another so, job. So it's you're, not designed for it's designed to get to get damn, the help. Yes, it is. For high school. Minimum no, it's wage. Not. Min no, it's damn, not. Damn, damn. Minimum wage. Minimum it's wage the, is the minimum for, to survive. If you can't pay your rent, you can't survive. Minimum wage is designed so that you can make it on the bare minimum. And if you can't make it because you're you're you get paid, you can't even afford daycare or you can't afford um uh, to get off food stamps for food because you gotta make a decision because rent and this and that. That's not minimum wage. That's below the minimum to survive. That's what I'm trying to say. The economy no, is a lot higher no, than the I, minimum. No, I'm saying most so now you got to get two jobs and you pissed off and you ain't raising your kids right because you got to work three car three, three jobs in order to survive. That's well, that's I'm not going to make a happy society. It's designed for high school kids. It's supposed to be for like high school kids yeah. and two man college. You trying to tell when me you, all jobs you, that are if minimum wage are only you designed get for high school more kids? Money, you got to do a better job, do a different Everybody job. Everybody can go to school. The, the cost of living goes up annually. Yes. But does uh, minimum wage? I don't know what you're saying no about. But. <laughs> um, Man, look, bottom line. If you get paid more, you, you treat your job better. You're not upset because you're tired because you got to go to four different jobs and, and your kids doing bad at school and you'll never see your man and all this other stuff. If you no, got paid I'm more, that we have you, to do things differently. Like, what's wrong with trying to elevate yourself and get and become a manager or becoming or, or moving up the ladder or changing your job to find a different field for you that, that does pay more money? You can't depend on McDonald's. Look, if you have not, this goes back to you. If you start out in a bad situation, right? If you start out in a bad situation, I, w I wish I could be on this verb. Yes, you can. Go ahead. Log oh, on. you want me to well, send you, you a, know what? I see you we, a, a link now. Don't play are, with us. We already, oh, you can come on now. Uh, <laughs> hope you're ready. But, okay. um, she ain't ready. But, she is not ready. But the bottom line is this. If you treat uh -huh. your if you treat people with more respect in this country by giving them the fair amount, and the fair amount is how much they need to survive. If, if, if even though it hurts your pockets in the in a in a corporation, it's still gonna make our community better. That's what I'm saying. That's why you right. have a minimum wage, right? That's why they made it mandatory. Okay, give up Five minutes. She ready for us, honey. Well, look, look. And we already, <laughs> have, we already had the hour mark. You gonna have to come on next Sunday. <laughs> no, I said real quick, but uh, just to see what. Okay, you know, all right. Well, let's go then. Let's go a little bit more then. Let's go a little go. longer. See, see what's what is what. Yeah, because but, she, because doing the comments is not gonna do what? it. Apparently, she she's on your side. That's I know what that is. I see. She's that. on your side. Yeah, because she she knows black Google talks. And it's probably the law. It's probably real. It's probably whatever. Real. So hey, Carlos. Yes, ma'am. Oh wait. Yeah. Um. So wait. what I'm saying is, is that even though it hurts as a business owner, that's wait. why you're. That's why you're. That's why you're saying it because you can see that that. Oh my God! You want me to pay these people more? They sorry. But one, you get better people. Maybe you'll get somebody you want to keep. I don't know. I'm not saying it is so, for that. I'm well, that's saying exactly that. It's no, that's it's why, not. Why, why would a business owner we're, not? We're, want... we're talking about. I'm not saying that. I'm saying we have to do better. What you can't keep blaming everything on the situation. And you can't keep you saying. Got to love the situ you got to. You got to. Be bigger than the situation. No, you, no, you can't. We've always look. been bigger than the situation, Carlos. Did I, did I not tell we you? We've always did persevered. I, look, look. Some of us have, not all of us, not the majority. I think some the majority of us, have. of us have. No, the majority have not. Mm -hmm. you, what do you mean by persevere? You mean overcome our circumstances to become? That's not. That's not the normal story. Yes, it that's is. Not, no, it's not. If that's yes, the case, is. half of my family went to went to jail, or if that's the case, half of the community. Ain't half be... our family went to jail. What? That's I'm not talking true. about my family. I'm talking about my family. <laughs> not your family. 
<laughs> oh, you oh, you got jokes. <laughs> but my crazy? point is, my point is, is that everybody does not make it out. Not white, not black, not Chinese. Everybody don't make it out. There's some really lazy Chinese people. There's some really lazy Hispanic people. I work with them. Really There's some really people. lazy really white lazy people. people. So you can't say that it's just our community. What I'm saying is, you can't say that everybody can make it out, and we I'm got a problem more. making it out. My it's, thing our is, our circumstances are harder, and we're trained different is. coming it up. Is. And our mentality is trained different. So if you want to know right. the root. Because Our the children is harder. Okay, let me tell you something. If I speak for myself and all the trials and tribulations I've been through in business and how hard it is, and how and sometimes I feel no matter how perfect I try to be, no matter how hard I try to, to do everything right, uh -huh. I still have the barriers because sometimes I feel like I could walk in there. I feel like I, I wish I could just tra transform to be a white person for the get the, so you can help me a little bit more. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes okay. I feel that way, and that's that's the honest truth. What, you know what I'm saying? To, what's that have to do with being an angry? What I'm saying, saying is, I relate to the fact that our circumstances are harder okay. because of who we are. Well, you, we, can't, it, you can't you can't do both. You can't relate. You can't agree that and people can should get paid that. more. But you keep saying that. that you keep, that. That you keep saying that. That don't mean because you like, work for McDonald's, you're supposed to make $15 an hour. Stop it. I didn't say you make Stop $15 it. an hour, but you should get paid more than that dog on set. So if you're bringing home less than $300 a week, you're going to be you're gonna be a very uh, honorary individual. Look that word up. You're going to be What's really, word? really honorary. Honorary? Yeah, it's it's um it's Louisiana. It's off of Waterboy. Watch Waterboy. That's, that's I ain't that's never heard do. of the word. You know, I'm not angry. To you're gonna be a, you're uh, gonna be an angry. <laughs> you're gonna be angry. Miss Douglas, I don't know where she at. She ain't um popped up. So you know, uh, we yeah. we tried to um to get her, uh, you know, on the show. Yeah, thinking that she was gonna. She said, "Give her, give her five minutes." I think I, how long we gave her? We didn't gave her sure. about a good. 10 15 minutes, mm. you know. Shane, that was at six. Oh, I'm, I'm coming. coming. Oh, she said, I'm coming. Oh, yeah, man. Well, well, come on now because we're supposed <laughs> to at the end of the show in a minute. I want to want to hear your perspective. Well, I think she's just basically going to echo exactly what I said. What and you're that's, saying, um, but that's not true. Y'all need to stop it. Y'all need to stop blaming. We need to stop blaming everything on everybody. <laughs> <laughs> we think you think that the problem oh, is she's not saying, it's just y'all too yes honey just us too we've uh, been going we've been rocking like this for a minute sometimes i don't write carlos that's right get by get by carlos Woo. <laughs> you are silly um i think like i said she's gonna echo pretty much the same thing i've so, been saying I my thing, yeah. me, you know why it's so crazy that Angel people, is, people is stay home in because me and Angel was just talking about that about okay. making who supposed to be making the money who supposed to be making uh why do McDonald's people make fifteen dollars an hour you know what I'm saying right oh I hear an echo okay that was me trying to get my computer locked on all so. right how you doing hi I'm doing well happy Sunday happy Sunday happy Sunday happy okay. Sunday I like that so what you got to say. I wanted to address <laughs> no, 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 and I'm not trying to be honoring Carlos. Um, <laughs> there we go. I was calling, um, wanted to just chat about the minimum wage part first. Mm -hmm. Um, I think even McDonald's, with the way the cost of living is, should be more than the seven dollars because one gallon of gas is what two dollars and fifty cents. If they're making less than fifteen dollars, they can't fill their car up for working more than uh, less than an hour. They got to work how many hours to fill their car up? That's right. But they have, you, have if, 10, 10 gallon, 15, 15 gallons at two dollars and fifty cents. Right. How many so you, so you basically you pay pay pay. You know that no wait, 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 wait. Calm down. So okay. when you start balancing, no, no, but you know when you come up with business, I and you try to we have the conversation. Yeah. So no. therefore, if they can't fill their car up to come to work for one week and work one hour to do that those things at least two hours to fill the car up that's right it's problematic 
Then they got Absolutely. hypothetically, they have children, right? Some circumstances no, put them. No, no, we're not home. talking about some that circum- you shouldn't be feeding your children. Some it's a job. It's a job at McDonald's to work because of their lifestyle. Not necessarily right. that's where they want to be. Not, that's, that's not where true. they want to be. That's true. They that's may true. not have the know-how but, to get to the next. That, they may not have the way. access to the services to get to the next. Right. Even right. at McDonald's. Because I know. I, wait, even at McDonald's, if you're not dignified and you don't buy into their system, you don't get promoted. girls at McDonald's that became managers that are doing great. But they became managers. Hold on, I work they at McDonald's. Can, they are doing great in life. Hold on, I work at McDonald's. They are the doing great. I wasn't in the clique. I didn't elevate, so I refuse to reduce myself, who I am, for the dollar. So until you right. have to understand that you make the money, money don't make you. It's not how much you Very make true. sometimes. But I refuse to go on the job and make minimum wage. I refuse. And minimum wage has to go up annually because the cost of living doesn't it surpass annually. That is the point. Okay, let me ask you something. Otherwise, it's not minimum wage. It's under Honestly, minimum wage. Honestly, what do you do right now? You are a what manager, right? Well, huh? I'm You're sorry. a manager, right? I am not a manager. On my W two oh, okay. job, on my W two job, I'm an administrative assistant. I won't take administrative a manager. Assistant. I won't won't take a manager position. I don't believe they offered it to me. For the simple reason it won't allow me to be a parent. My first job is to be a parent. Now, outside okay. of parenting, as my children has aged out, right? Because we've been right. in this thing for a long, long time. I'm a mother mm-hmm. of five. Mm-hmm. 25, 21, twins that are 19. I got one left, Lord. She's 17. Mm-hmm. So I have gradually aged myself out. I'm an insurance broker by mm. trade. That's what I am. Complete care solutions with a focus on Medicare. Plug. 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 Put it in the, com- put it in the comments. Put it in what the comments. Do do? And with that, and what else do you do? And she I have bank bank. with love. I have bank with love. That's my passion. That's the way I escape life. But those are things right. I choose Let's to make do. Make on. The point is that I want to make by that you a hustler. I am a hustler. Everybody's not and designed you- like us. We can't have yeah. everybody think like us and be like us and be who we are. Yeah. You know, everybody's not raised in your house. Right. Everybody's not raised by your mom. Everybody doesn't have the same community situation. That's what I wanted to touch on. Nobody, my sister, uh, what's up, Angel? Nobody is going to pay you to do something they can get anybody to do. Let Before you, any of y'all make a comment, comment, that's the point right there. Why would they pay you more? when they can get anybody to do that job, okay? So listen, so if you couldn't get anybody to pay that job, to, to, to work that job, right? You basically gotta up your pay. Right. So right now they're in a situation where they gotta up their damn pay because they can't just get anybody to work that job because people getting Why paid more. Pay somebody? So the point is- of $15 an hour to sweep the floor. Because they've been trying to raise minimum wage before before Barack Obama got into the um White House, if you go upstate, the cost of living is higher. If you go upstate, can you hear me? Yeah, we listen. Yeah. I'm sorry. Go I ahead. hear you. <laughs> if, if you, you go, go up north or whatever, the cost of living is higher, right? right. But, but they, they get pay, paid. But they actually get paid more. Okay, but the they cost actually of get paid got, more. They get paid so a little more. Point. That's the point. Okay, that's the point. Our cost here Same is job. Cheap. Our cost isn't cheap. Amazon, is Amazon is higher there. there. If Amazon and Target, I'm pay- leaving that po- that right there. Go ahead. Okay, Amazon and Target are one of the two companies that I know for sure are starting their people out at fifteen dollars an hour before the pandemic. Everybody else should be allowed and able to do it as well. McDonald's a quadruple there business. You know they're franchised, most of them, but still. Pay people when you pay people, you can up your standards, you can hold them more accountable. You know what I'm saying? You can make sure that they're, they're following policy and procedures. When you're paying people minimum it, wage, they're gonna that's what I was saying. when you're yeah. paying people bare minimum, they're gonna feel like they can come how they want to come. You know what I'm saying? They don't have to stick to the guidelines. 
You see what I'm saying? And then they want to, uh, why? Why this? Why that? Child care taking all my money. Why are you so miserable? Because once I come to your job and I give you 40 hours a week, I don't have nothing left for myself. Yeah. yeah you and to tell, and this, this is what I'm going to say to you, Pam, and I'm going to say to my sister. Y'all acting like working 40, 50, 60 do, uh, hours ain't hard work. You're, you're acting like that's not work. That's a lot of work. You trying, you trying to act like cleaning somebody's bathrooms or working on the side of the room. Listen, you're trying to act. You're trying to okay. Well, you working hundred hours a week, but you're trying to act like somebody who's sitting in a cushiony job is not working as hard as somebody else because it's McDonald's. It's not hard work. That's not true. Just because it's not mentally. Uh, oh, taxing. It's more mental work. It's more, it's, it's more well, maybe more mental as far as dealing with people. But yeah. just because that job is not, uh, it, that job is not a corporate job or, or, or you know, making more money, but you sitting on your behind doesn't mean it's not hard work. It doesn't make any sense. You sh people get people should get paid more if they're working hard, right? So that they can live, so they can so survive, they can live. and then period. Th when people are able to provide, because they're not providing insurance on most jobs, you know what I'm saying? They're getting, you know, they went yep. down to giving people 29 hours or the bare minimum hours to making everybody when they um, mandated insurance. They went down on the amount of hours they were giving each worker, mm -hmm. so they didn't have to offer the insurance package because that made everybody part time. The average hour for a full time employee is 36 hours. So if I'm working you 39 hours, you don't even fall into the benefit category. But anytime you work 40 hours, you're entitled to the um, benefit packet. So right. I'm not penalized if I give you 29 hours. I'm not held accountable for you. So then you have to go over here and pay for Obamacare, and that costs people. Everybody can't afford that insurance. Okay, well, so if you – go ahead. Okay, well, I, I totally agree with what Angel was saying. Of that you when you, you get more money – when you're doing something that other people cannot do, you the reason why doctors no, get paid that's not true. That's not true. That's ridiculous. They, no, you're, 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 you're making a mistake. Listen, yes, you're talking, talking about minimum. minimum. We're, we're not we're talking, talking about, about what you go to school for, and you got a specialty in. Right. Yes, doctors do get paid more for they that. Get paid a lot service. more for a specialty. For a specialty, yes. I might need to pull Angel no, here. Listen, but. But because no. because the problem is is that we're comparing a doctor to a regular person that's that's trying and trying to what, act what, like what that regular person is, don't matter and their life don't matter because the meant, doctor is the certain doctor. Certain jobs are not meant to. But they're not meant to be family. a sweatshop either. You're, yeah, are what, you going to hinder me? Are you going to yeah. help me? You got to decide which one they're going to be for us. Just I said give a, us more wage and give us more knowledge. Those that was black, I, I, I agree with the minimum wage going up some and $15. Yeah. $15. No, 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 why no? no. Because well, let me tell no. you why. If it does not reach $15, right? They're going to still yet push the cost of living up because it should have gone to $15 and people are still going to be struggling. People are going, going, this is where it breaks down, that, where it starts getting kind of messy for us, right? Let's back right. up just a little bit way back. When they created the uh, housing, right? Been there, mm -hmm. right? It's supposed to be subsidized. It's supposed to be an opportunity for you to stay here temporary, for you to get yourself together, for you to move out, right? It's not supposed to be a That's generational right. thing, right? right. Because, right. They, because they have poisoned our mindset to think that we don't need a man to cripple us. To, a, 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 household, a household should be ran by two people, right? Two. Two people in order for one person to be the, the nurturer and then one person to be the lion and create for it to have that balance, right? Something is missing. So that's why the parents are working two jobs and no control over the kids because nobody's ever home or somebody having to work 12 hours. I, as a parent, refuse to work the 12 hours, right? I'm not working 12 hours because I can't, I got to keep my eyes on what's going on on my children. I didn't fall for the okie doke, right? right. So go. I decrease what, how I live to increase the knowledge in their brain so they can be successful. Right. So it's trying to change some of the generation. Cause my mom came home every day. You know, she didn't work 12 hour shifts. 
I was going to give the same thing to my children. So when it comes to minimum wage, when you start changing the time and the hours or how much time a person on the job by how much they make, $15 is nothing. Because you pay $15 when you go to dinner or go out to eat. But you ain't I paying that every hour. hour. Two hours to treat myself to a meal? No, you're paying for other stuff right. on those hours. You're paying for lights, you're paying for water, you're paying for gas, you're paying for your car insurance, you're paying right. for insurance if you got to pay insurance outside of it. I can go on and on and on. The point, okay, part. we can argue semantics about the amount, okay, because we're getting into kind of like muddy waters about worrying about the amount. But what I will say is just like I think we all agree that minimum wage should go up. And that's what my point was earlier. Is that if we get more money, we want to argue about why people are so angry? Because that's the that's the name of this episode. Why are we why so, black mad? so mad? Why black people so mad? We mad because we broke, we overworked, we our kids are jacked up, we jacked up, and we can't find time for each other and our significant other. You're pissed off. Right. If you want us to be, then fight for us to be able to survive because the minimum wage is not keeping up with what the what the standard of living is that's the bottom line anybody that doesn't see that has never worked the minimum wage job before they don't know what minimum wage is minimum they wage is not it. designed to say okay look we're gonna give you crumbs because your job the job that you got we don't think that matters whether you digging ditches or whether you working at mcdonald's and sweating over fries all day long and dealing with whatever we don't think that job matters we don't think you matter, so we're just going to give you crumbs. It's not designed to do that. What we, what it's designed to do is to make employees not pay you less than what the standard of this society has determined. The standard of this society is to give our bottom line. Our, this is the difference why we're not a third world country. The difference between this country, this, what makes this not a third world country is the way our poor is our poor is richer than most poor in most countries right and that's because we've never let our poor fall totally down to where they it turns into you know mexico city or something so you got to understand that the way that you treat the the bottom level is the way your society is going to be at a whole it's going right. to be the worst of your society so if you don't take I don't care know, of that, i just feel like we got to Stop making excuses oh, and go, make man. some solution. Stop saying that. We're not. We got. We got a reason. We got a reason. <laughs> we've been picked on. We've been beat up by police. We've been. Uh, uh, we've been by genocide. We've been basically snatched from each other and made it illegal to marry, generation right. after generation. Education is Don't say you. we don't have no reason. Look now. Let me say this because I, I, as, as a business owner, I know the struggle. I have worked and didn't even get paid and had to pay my employees because I need them. You get what I'm saying? Because I had to make sure that lights in the in the building was paid for and the water that the water wouldn't get turned off. So I get the struggle. It was been times where what struggle? I the business on the struggle. We're not talking about the business on the struggle, Sam. We're talking did not about the employees. me. I did not allow that to define me. I had to push forward right now i'm going through some stuff on my business right now i feel discriminated against but guess what before you owned your business i have a question for you before you owned your business where did you work what type what was your first job what was your first job my first job was Milo. Milo. okay and what I did you do 16 i don't remember what i what i made but i was 16 and at six at 16 turning 17 i became the manager of seafood then i went off to college graduated from college came back to Balo, made seventy nine thousand dollars a year at the age of 22 with so my degree you, because i had good work ethics and okay. they asked me to be the how did you seafood. learn that huh? on the back on the back of, so let me ask you this well, Ooh. let me. No, no. My first Ooh. job. My first job was thirteen. I'm sorry. My first real, you know, my job. I was thirteen at the pea shed picking peaches. Okay. With so my mom. You can't, you can't even relate. So let's stop you right there. You can't even relate to someone who didn't had the hard struggle, who grew up with. What? Hold on. Wait a minute. 
You can't relate financially if you were 16 doing what was required. Right? If you had the lifestyle, you can't pay minimum wage. But, but you weren't no. dodging gunshots. You weren't under somebody who didn't train you that. Hold on. No, that's not the point. Granville's no, I mean, not a bad place to be it's from. Not, it, ain't, just, it ain't Compton. It, it's it's, it's not there. that. It I'm not trying to discredit where you're from and what you've been through, but you don't have the story. And I don't know your background of your story, right? But right. not well, everybody. Right. But you persevered. What you went through, you was able to see past. You didn't right. live a life where you, you were stuck. Mentally. You were in a lifestyle where the, the mama got started. The kids saw the mama get beat every day and thought that was their norm. Or when they opened up their refrigerator, they didn't have nothing in there. Or they went without. I'm not accustomed to that, right? Well, hold on, hold I know on. when when I was when I was working, yeah. it has been times where I had to watch my son eat because I didn't have enough money to feed myself. But Even you, making that kind of your mindset is built different. You know that I'm not gonna struggle but so long overnight, maybe. But that, that's over with. But in yeah, your I mean, mindset, like you're going to be a conqueror. Your mindset, my mindset, his mindset. But some people, all they know is, I got a paycheck this week. Or I got a job. Or don't even know how to fill right. out the, um, the application. Just because they look normal. Look normal. They done dealt with alcoholism. They done dealt with molestation. They done dealt with homelessness. They done dealt with a whole list of stuff. I've been so then they go to these jobs that not paying them enough to teach them how to get to the next next. Oh, so they God. stuck in that situation. They're stuck. Mental. So their right. wage should go up. So they should have an opportunity to say, "Let me exhale just a little bit." Right. They they, they don't know to turn the TV off so they can hear the silence of their own thoughts on how to get motivated to move forward. You know what I'm saying? Right. They don't so know how to parent out, because they're not super parent. We got to figure out how to, to reach them but and motivate right. them. So when you when you how do we do that? Okay, I so told you. We, I said pay. We have to pay each other. We have to pay these people more for one. But if they've been through some mental, that's not, that's not yeah. like mental but illness. Them, but if you pin them, where well, they can exhale a little bit and then start with the small things. Require counsel. Have See, someone going way deeper on oh, this. Oh, that's where it's pay. supposed to go. Well, that's the problem. You you know, you know, saying, where, like, where, how do we fix the problem? Level. How do we fix the problem? You're not getting back. the benefits, right? So if they take time off from work, they got to go to work jacked up or however anyway because every little penny count. But if I'm making $15 an hour, right, I can make different decisions. I can save a little bit different. I can invest that's a little bit it. different. Management team will right. talk a little bit better when they make right. a little bit more they money. They need mental... Counseling. Okay. But okay. Let's give me a second. With benefit packets. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Money. So money. let me let me address this again. They my sister, my sister Angel. Hold on. Yeah, my sister money. Angel. We're going backwards again because I addressed this already on why getting paid better does change your issues. It changes everything about you. How do you? How can you say getting paid better does not change your issues? Your 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 lifestyle. What you can do for your children, how, where, you, where your children live, what neighborhood, how it's not getting paid better, not going to help you. You see what I'm saying? Pam, you're saying you agree, but I don't see how you agree when I'm giving you several examples on how economic standing dictates the mindset that you're in. It also will start your children off with a certain mindset. If you don't, if you can't see the fundamentals on that, then, I mean, you, basically, it's just no, way, no reason to even have a discussion anymore. Because if you can't see why people are pissed off, then why talk about it? I mean, how are you going to talk about it? People are mad because their situation is jacked up. So you, you don't think people are going to just be mad just because they're mad? You don't have that group of people. You don't have yeah, that group of people. You have the extremes to every circumstances. I'm talking about Joe Smoke. Every, the, the people that don't want to go to work, they're like, why? And you're like, go to work. Like, go make less money. Be away from your kids. That's fucking ridiculous. That's stupid. Okay. Who the hell is going to do that? Who's going to do that? To, you have to. That's why you, I do. I do honestly believe that sometimes the system cripples people. I do believe there should be another way, like weaning them off. Like you get a job, 
you should be weaned off and not completely taken off. I do right. agree with that. It should be by steps and not right. like, okay, we're going to cut everything off because it takes a minute to adjust. And yeah. if you take $20, $30 at a time instead of taking $200, that's a great, that's a lot. That's a lot, you know, to take at you're one time. Penal, you're so penalized I, by the system when you go to work. Right, right. right. You're penalized. I mean, I was, you might even lose your housing. Gone. If you got housing and you get your rent paid and you go get a job, now all of a sudden, it's not even a, a, a micro step like you said. Bam, now you got to pay this full rent and you and you worse off than you was before. Probably How can that not make it worse? My daughter take a prescription, right? Mm -hmm. And I had, because of their father's death, they received um, government assistance, right? They, Medicaid. Mm -hmm. So I had added her, my twin daughter because she wanted to go off to college and the college required them to be on my insurance, right? So when you add one, you add them all, right? Okay. The medicine costs so much just to co-pay alone, the portion that I had to pay, have to pay each month is $150. Whereas before I added everybody to my insurance, I didn't have to pay anything. She was covered. So having a conversation with them, okay, $150. This was when I was um I was furloughed, fired, and rehired for my W-2 job. And that's what made me push so hard to make sure I went ahead and got my brokerage up and going. LLC did and put myself in the right position because I have technically two more years on my plan, right? For me to be able to, I want to focus on being a parent, everybody out of, out of school. But nevertheless. Because of the copay being $150, I've been fired, furloughed, and rehired. I was working 50 hours. I was guaranteed 10 hours of overtime each week. I'm no longer guaranteed the 10 hours of overtime. So the $150 creates a problem for me. I still got the same amount of kids, same amount of responsibilities, but now I got extra responsibilities with no job. But then they want to go back and forth with me. I said, I tell you what, I'll just quit my job and get full Medicaid. How about that? How about them apples? Which that's not what I was gonna do, but I'm having the conversation, right? No, let's see what we can do. Yeah, let me see what you can do because she's gonna be on this medication for the rest of her life. We've been on it since 2012, and now right. you want to tell me 150 dollars when I don't have it? When I did have it, you know, maybe maybe not want to pay it, but still, that's a lot of money each month. That's just one prescription. Well, so sorry. when you start changing the dynamics of life and how you look at things according to the money you make. When you yeah, first right. well, I know that vacation. Just, just vacation. to jump in for a second. Yeah, sure, um, sure. You, um, the Medical College of Georgia, I don't know what their name is now, but they have a program that you, but you have to just go there and you apply as a, you know, based off your income and you get free medicine and free health care if I make you qualify. Too much. I make, make too much. much. I make too much and then two Medical College of if Georgia. If they 18, I think they can go on their own. She's 17. I thank you for the okay. information. I'm aware of Medical College George when it was um whatever with same hospital when she was right. sick. These are the same people that told me we done did all we can do for her and send her home, meaning she could die at home. So she, we no longer have to. I no longer use that hospital. Her doctors are in oh. Columbia. So I right. know the politicals behind the insurance side, how they shift and they move you according to the state side. When you got Medicaid and you shift from doctor to doctor, specialist to specialist, when they start mm -hmm. shifting you, they're shifting the money so everybody can get a piece of the pie. And they bold enough to tell you, we done done all we can do for you. Mm -hmm. You know, well, that's, that's you know, an example of, yeah, it's of, the money. of making a decision, right? Based on. You got to make, you gotta make uh, well, $15 an hour well, ain't going to get you well, that well, kind of. Well, okay. Yeah, that you talking about right there. That's on do you know the difference? Be, do you know the difference between seven dollars an hour and fifteen dollars an hour? That's two dollars. Okay, hours. hold on. So let's talk about her situation, right? She's I making think it's more about money. Necessarily, the specifics on her situation. She's giving an example of making a decision, an economic decision versus the benefits, etc. And that's what these right. people are doing. They're making an economic and social decision, a family decision that I'm going to stay home with my child. I realize this is actually helpful for my child. I'm going to do it. And right. if you don't want to pay it, let's take McDonald's out of it because we love using the example of like that's the low line fruit of jobs. Even if you're working in the office, you might be making minimum wage. 
Even if you're working in some job where you think your teacher's assistant something like that. I don't know. Like that. I don't making know. minimum wage. Listen, hold up, hold well, on, yes, they on. are. Yes, it, they it's are. minimum wage according to the cost of the pay grade scale for that particular job. They will pay you bare minimum. It's not minimum wage looking at it as seven twenty. I think what's minimum wage seven twenty five, seven fifty, or something like that. It's the okay. median. Uh, what they would pay for that particular job in your area. So you Google the, the job title in your area in whatever job you go on Indeed. You even got to Google it. Indeed, to see what that job actually pay scale is across a region. And that's how a lot of things are determined. My yeah. job, I'm underpaid. Right. And so that's because the bottom, that's I'm because the min that's because the minimum wage sets the baseline and pushes all the rest of the wages up yeah. so if your minimum wage is low if you go get you a college job guess what your college job in your area is going to be lower because yeah. it basically pushes causes pressure on the other jobs i got to pay you more because we got to get above minimum wage and they got to help it's you not pay just them about the minimum wage so with a college degree most times you got your student loans so if you take a percentage of whatever say they get paid Fifteen dollars an hour coming out of college, right? Or seventeen dollars? They still gonna take a percentage of that in consideration of your student loan, so you can make sure you pay that. Say so you have to take four dollars of that each out of that hour to put towards your student loan. You still at um seventeen. You at thirteen dollars an hour. You barely making any money by the time you pay your bills and stuff. So, so the cost of do? living across the board, across the board, the median across. Right. And like like she said, she the said the is wrong. She said, exactly the infrastructure. She said, "Okay, Angel was saying the minimum wage and entry level are different. That's true, but like I said before, they're correlated. They it's built off of what the baseline is. You can't pay somebody at a job that they say, or oh, I'm in I'm in this fancy doctor's office, so you can't pay me minimum wage. Minimum wage pushes everything else up. They just give because when minimum wage was five, a seven dollar an hour job is." The thought of is such a big deal. You dig what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. the, the way you treat the bottom dictates how the rest of you get treated. If you don't see that, then you don't understand how this social economic thing works. Period. Right, got, Andrew. Oh, Lamonte. Lamonte. All right. So I think basically what we don't got down to is I'm right. <laughs> no. <laughs> I think that's the bottom line right now. I no, I mean, he said careers and jobs are like apples and oranges, you know, um, and it's, you know, like there's a difference between a career and there's a difference between a job. When you, a job is something that you just own, you know, it's almost temporary. Your career is something you're doing for a lifetime. That's something you, you work, that you, you, you educate might work a job for on. a lifetime. You get training, huh? You might work a job for a lifetime. It may not be something you want to do for, as a career. You might still work that job for a, a lifetime. You might not like working at the post office, but your ad might be there for your whole life and retire from there. True. But anyway, no, I don't know if it's such a deal, uh, such a, um, such a, I don't know if it's about career versus jobs per se. What we're talking about is why people are in the mindset they are and why they treat each other in a certain way and why they live such a such a lifestyle and it's not right. just us but we're fixated on we're focused on and yeah, we're, we're we focused had, on bettering our community and stopping the violence within our community we just have to stop we just got to figure you can't just out say that. quit saying gotta stop snap out of it i, I wish told we you, could you, just stop. You. you can't exactly you wish and that we should and, and that'd be nice if we all just woke up and everybody was singing kumbaya and going to McDonald's and they was making they was happy to be there making minimum wage and everybody was just you know singing and stuff but it's not gonna happen like that you have to give people the opportunity to do better even more you have to but give I them a better we, a better stepping stone right what do you think because, would be a good way to fix the solution Pam you said it should just stop um community based Oh, what, I think what, I, what I this is what I believe because I think our issue is deeper than just finances. I know that okay, yes, I know that we need to do better financially, but I also believe that we need to um preach unity, we need to get a, a pro proper education. You know, I, I just believe that 
there are certain jobs and certain things that are done for um a career and there's certain ones that just done for just young people working i remember when i was in school high middle school and high school they had job programs mm -hmm. they don't have these programs anymore the job programs help you get your work ethics the reason why some of our young kids don't have good work ethics and don't want to work is because they're not trained properly i don't i don't so, think it's a work right, if okay. i work 60 dollars and 60 hours a week what's okay, wrong with okay, my work what's wrong with my work ethic I'm getting okay, paid minimum wage, but I'm busting my butt at the Even job. It's not a work job, ethic. You have people that make a lot of money on your job, and they still don't want to work. But that's not the, the point. People, that's hard work ethics. That's what not I'm the point. Saying. When you back it up just a little bit, when you say when you said that changing, let's not talk about the finances. Let's talk about the structure of the kids. Let's talk from elementary school. When the parents right. don't know how to get to the school, don't have ways to get to the school, or the programs they have are during the school hour, and the parents are at work, right? So it creates a whole dilemma of things. But so now the fifty dollars an hour, guess what? It's all gonna be it don't matter anyway problem. because now you're gonna complain that you make it fifteen dollars an hour, but you got to work. But it, it won't that. hurt as bad if you have to take a time. Exactly, it won't hurt as bad. Look, let me tell you bad. something. Let me tell y'all something. All y'all, every last person in the comments, and everybody on the it. show. Let me tell you this. I never, I've seen unhappy very wealthy people i've seen yeah. happy poor people but i ain't never seen more happier people than people that's making a lot of money together right 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 i don't give a damn <laughs> what y'all say when you making some money you a lot better off yeah you may have had issues coming up you may be thrown off but i guarantee you you'd be living a better lifestyle you probably take care of yourself better you're probably a lot better off ain't, ain't shot yourself or whatever if you're making a lot if you're living a better lifestyle if you can't say that <laughs> i'm just saying you can't say that making more money does not make your life but better that is you happy. that's why you, you know, work why do you work, why do you work? But what we're trying to say when it, with the kids when i'm asking for solutions what to do okay you can make all this money and then you're gonna say well guess what I got to work Don't during the school hours. I can't have my extreme. child with this school homework. It's but gonna it's always be in school homework. Not we got to stop making yeah, excuses. But, then, but yeah, exactly. But now you can hire a little tutor. Yeah, you can hire a tutor. But you can't do but that working at 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 Hold on. We're just trying to get to the baseline of some solutions. It gonna I'm always be somebody that is saying want more. Yeah, you can't if, use that as a, as a but if you say. if you're able to provide a little bit more for your household, provide a little bit more for your children. I know when I work for myself, I could probably provide, provide a lot more for my kids. You know what I'm saying? I can provide a lot more for myself. My bills are paid a little bit differently. Just that I'm gonna speak for the me. I don't understand, I don't know about the outside things. I've never lived totally in the hood type thing. I never had all those things, but I do want to find a solution for the simple reason. Yeah. My kids, my um, children, I tell them all the time, you, I, give, I want you all to be the better you. Example. And because I don't know, right. because I don't know, doesn't mean I don't want anything better. Right. So when, when every time I leave home, okay. I hear well, a shooting or somebody's getting killed and we sit here saying it's the money it's most times the kids out there trying to hustle to make money. Okay, let's, let's, okay let me um, talk about what Angel just said. Oh, she said the goodness. government is giving folks money Angel to stay at home Angel and they're still late. fighting in the streets. Okay, Angel so you got people we that don't about pay this no already. rent, don't we pay no light bill, already. don't have to pay no by no so the parents. Look, we're talking about the kids. Is, we're trying to look, find a solution for the ones that want to be saved or should be saved. Look, look, this is a terrible example. We're not talking about short-term money. We're talking about lifestyle money. We're not talking about one little payment and what people well, do. You look at that statistic during this one point in time because they got a little money or people still shooting themselves. That's not the point because it's a short amount of time. We're talking, I'm talking about people being able to sustain themselves for the long run. Of course, they still gonna act the same. It's only a little bit of time, it's only a little bit of money. But the crime rate did go down when they didn't have to work so damn hard and bust it behind. The crime rate went down. When they didn't have to go and, and act all crazy and drive around and, and interact and deal with customers or whatever it is, 
Cram went down. Yes, it's still ain't even working. They still fighting. They not working. Am I? Is my microphone on? Is my mic on? Because okay, because I could swear I just addressed that what she just said. I could swear I just said that this is a show. You can't use this time right now as an example. It's a terrible example. Now, had it been a year, I'm just saying, had it been a year, uh, 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 I mean, I'm, I'm sorry, some years to be able to see the crime rate, rate kids growing up and how they're acting and how many of them actually do better for themselves and decide, okay, I could get a job and still survive. I don't have to hustle. I can at least you can make that decision. But if you can't make that decision, like I got a kiss. I got I got my girl at home. Tell my go and get a get a job, minimum wage job. Tell my go back to school for the next four or five years. Let me go get this money. You ain't even giving people an opportunity to make a, a clear decision for their life. You feel what I'm saying? When you have the type of issues, right? Y'all talked about money does not fix that. It uh, again, you late. I said this already, my my loving sister. I love you with all my heart, but you're not listening. You and you're late. I said that money does fix your issues, and I gave a plethora. That's your word for the day of reasons why money matters. There are a lot of happy people. You when you make money, you did what I'm saying. You're happy. I don't care if you, you're a lot happier. Would you call it issue? Per, you're a lot, a lot happier, broke person, broken person. You're a lot happier, handicapped person. You're a lot happier, dementia, OCD person. When you got some money, okay. all right. You did what I'm saying. See, if you're broke, it makes your problems worse when you're broke. Bottom right. line. It does. It does. Because let me tell you. But you got to be able to push yourself. I have okay. been broke, bottom broke, no car, no money. I had to walk when I started my business. I literally had no car. I literally walked to the grocery store. I started my business with the food. The amount of food I had in my restaurant was borrowed $50 from my sister, both of my sisters, $100. When I ran out of food, me and my baby would walk to the grocery store, go get food while my 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 son other son would work in there and i walk back so i understand how it is i probably was at my lowest point because i didn't have any money i, I was on food stamps i did all of that i get that that's not the but point guess what Hang you got to figure out what you want to do in your life and do you want to stay there Damn. i refuse you're, to be sat in that it's your upbringing it doesn't but matter if you what? want to do it doesn't matter if you, what you went through. If you got the right upbringing, if you got the right upbringing and the right training and the right environment when you're coming up, you can go, fall and lose everything and still have the mindset yeah. that, okay, I'm going to come up. But if you come out the wrong situation and don't understand how to be impossible. if you've never had the right examples, like you probably had some good examples, right? Am I right? Yeah. Mom or family members or whoever. So at least right. give you the, the something and still you okay, you know what? And my mom worked through this. three jobs, okay. and I never but felt like. Well, what, what if you didn't have that? Me, my mom didn't come to no programs or didn't this, didn't this. You know what I'm saying? I I get it. Okay, not maybe not that part, and maybe that she didn't come to this and that. That might have affected another part. But what I'm talking about is safety and. Uh, having a, a decent, nice place to stay and, uh, you know what I'm saying, being able to eat and, uh, and a good, healthy mindset, somebody that's mentally sane to talk to, these things matter. Your environment matters. And your economic okay, standing but you're for your parents. talking about people parents. with mental illnesses. No, I'm not. I'm talking about people with just lifestyle problems. Maybe, maybe your parents can't never be but, at home with you because they got to work. Go ahead. They got to work three and four of y'all little minimum wage jobs in order to, to make do. And they and meanwhile, the daughter getting messed over by uncle. Or, or meanwhile, the boy running out selling dope because you can't keep nothing on your kids because you got to work so damn hard. I, 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 find it, I find it very disturbing that we think that we just, even because got these dog, people ain't got, just because these people just because these people ain't got a college mean? degree that they shouldn't get paid for 60 hours at a fair rate when they're working hard. If that's it, it should be at a fair rate. No, they shouldn't get paid like a doctor. 
but they should at least get paid to where they don't have to make life or death decisions every day. You see what I'm okay, saying? Okay, well, I, I, this conversation can go on and on and on. Apparently, we have been on here for almost two, two hours. We two episodes worth of stuff going on here. Yes, yes it, was a, it, it, was, it was a topic that needed to be talked about. I, I do believe that... Um, I, I believe Call that the black right. community, there you go. the black community has, you know, some hard, you know, things that we go through and we face. But um, we want to give our last perspectives. Carlos, we're going to let Miss Douglas go first. Miss Douglas, we want you to give your last perspectives about what you feel about the black community and the, you know, black on black crime, the black on black drama, the black on black, and what your perspective is about it. Carlos is right. All day. And then, um, uh, my angel. And then we'll let you go, and then we're gonna let Carlos go, and then I'll go last. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I'm sorry, my kids walked in. Okay, right, um, my perspective. At some point, when, like you said, when do it? When does it stop? We need to kind of find a parallel of solutions. I know it's not gonna happen overnight. Um. We as women, um, we're doing, I felt like this year we did a lot better for us camaraderie and coming together in support. Um, the small business arena since COVID has really, really, really put people inspired and to go after their goals, you know, regardless of where the finances come from. They got into a situation back against the wall. We are educated people. We have knowledge. Our energy box works for us if we just could get into our calm place. As far as the children in the school system, we need someone to know that they need to be advocated for. Make sure that we put in the 504s and IEPs in place, making sure they're getting the federal service and required to be able to be taught the things that they need. If they need to, for it to slow down some, they need to make sure that it's mandated. If anybody need help with the 504 or IEP, I write the best ones. You can contact okay. me, numbers in the chat box. Number two, the shootings and the crime levels, I'm, I'm at all with it. They, I wish people could understand that our black men carries some, this here magnetic energy that just is profound, is uplifting, is building. As long as they keep in their mindset, if we can tear them down, if we can break them, we don't break, we being, we don't break, is my motto, is my mindset. It's so okay. as long as we can show them love and teach them, you know, they've been so broken. And if they could turn off the TV, and allow love and allow family time and allow those things to become into the heart. Even the men, we love y'all, but you got to let us love you. I'm not going to chase you in the streets. I'm going to feed your mind, feed your spirit, feed your soul. But you got to be warning those things as well. You can't be going against the grain. You can't make my prayers in vain. That's choosing to do what you choose to do because that's what you've always done. Sometimes change is necessary. As for... What was the other question? Did I touch everything? Because I don't want to miss anything. Yeah, I think you definitely, yeah. So I thank y'all for allowing me to jump on um, today. Um, don't run right. away. I think yes. it was a great topic, yep. and I love yep. the debate. And Carlos, yep. Pam, Pam, listen, hmm? listen. He has some knowledge. I'm, you are black Google, sir. Black keep Google. reading. Keep being it's inspiring. Um, yeah, get you a shirt. I wish I knew how to make shirt. Pam. <laughs> Continue. Okay. I'm gonna give him a black Google shirt, all right. Uh -oh. <laughs> Listen, he has knowledge that's so overwhelming, and his his mindset is not geared towards the uniqueness of what society tell us. He's in tune. He's in tune, and he he can take other men that they would just open up their ear. It could start there. Him doing his own little segment, if it ain't but five minutes to empower other black men to get get on his level. Not in those get me off the show, baby. Not you. Not, not you. Oh. Not you. Not you. You got good stuff for us, boo. You got good stuff. But sometimes it's our kidding. men need to hear from other men so right. they can level up. Our young boys need to hear from other men because we're losing them. Our girls not so fast, but they getting they doing some stuff too. But oh. our young boys doesn't know how to be run a household, but they're gonna be leaders, they're gonna be fathers, they're gonna be the head. As long as they know their place. Sometimes we as women don't know our place. The men are the head, we are the rib. Once we understand that and give them the space to lead us with the guidance necessary, with the guidance necessary, that that's amazing things, you know, and be patient with them. 
But they got to learn to be patient and loving and caring back. They can't just be takers on this ship. You understand what I'm saying? So we got a lot of things and a lot of healing to do. But I think if we come together collectively as people and and do it together, you know, in the name of love, I think we can conquer a lot of of these things before. Yeah, in the name of love, we can get this stuff done. That's how I feel. Thank you for having me on here. (laughs) Hey, stay. Don't don't go just yet. Just stay on okay. even after the show ends, okay? Um, and yeah, I want to touch on something she said. I think that between um, it's kind of off the topic, but it kind of is part of the topic because it deals with the environment of the kids, the mother and the father, or even if it's just whatever uh, man that the the mother of these children chooses, or the woman that these guys are cho- choosing. When it comes to men and women, the um, the woman is in a nurturing situation even if she's misindependent etc and it has to do with the environment uh, they're setting the environment for a loving home for somewhere safe for the man to come and, and express itself and be itself that's an environment thing y'all are setting the nest and etc and you know what i mean the tone y'all everything from y- y'all just love to do that y'all put candles everywhere and stuff because y'all are setting the tones for how uh you know you want your nest to be and that's what men need. We need women who are not trying to be men, but trying to be the best versions of what women are. And that's a mood, that's safety and emotions. And the men are the safety in the physical, so to speak. That's that's our role. We're supposed to be a strong arm, literally and figurative, figuratively, figuratively, black Google. But um, basically, I know, right? <laughs> Messing up, look glitchy. But the point I'm making is, is that you need both. Uh, everybody needs to know their roles and be strong in their roles. And all of the roles are important. But if you think that you need to play both roles, then that's when you get into some, some problems. As far as our kids are concerned, this is every single episode we talk about. It always comes back to kids. If we talk about uh, gang violence, or we talk about um um sexual um you know if you're deciding to be a man or female etc everything we talk about economics it boils down to the kids because the adults are usually a little too far gone you know what i mean they look they're pretty much setting their ways on how they're going to do things the children are the way to go now everybody might not agree with me but i believe in corporal punishment when it comes to these kids spank they little behind and of course you need to not do it when you're angry uh, but even if you're not one of those people, one of those uh, old school parents, you should have a method that is consistent to to keep to strengthen their mind and give them the ability to get off the computer when you tell them to or the, or the, or the TV, like she said, and to talk to you and to sit down and not be all over the place. You can't do that if you have no discipline in your home. Um, that boils into our topic and how I'm going to end it. We we're angry because of a lot of reasons we're set up in society to already be angry yes we can overcome that but the way that we're going to overcome that is to look towards the future the slaves the general consensus was we shall overcome one day uh you know we're going to be free one day they weren't even talking about their own lifetime and that's the problem that we have right now. We're thinking our lifetime. What can we do right now? We can do things right now, but they don't need to be investments in necessarily looking to us. We need to be investments in the children and how they're going to turn out. And those are the people that are going to take care of us when we're old and take care of this country. That's the bottom line. That's my perspective. What you got, Miss Pam? Well, you know, I always say we're stronger together. We're yeah, stronger yeah. together. I feel like, you know, with the violence and the things that's going on in our community, I feel like we need to act like we care. Go out there, make a difference. If that difference is only with one person that's a stranger that you don't know, some little black boy that you ain't never seen uh, lay eyes on, but you just go and talk to him and say, how's your day? And get, yeah, yeah, get to know them a little bit better. I think that a lot of times that we are walking away from each other and we're not actually we're too we're too busy looking at our phones and not busy to looking in somebody's eyes and figure out what where their pain is coming from. Right. And just to have us a little a little bit more compassion 
towards your your brother or sister understand what they're going through understand their pain but we also can't handicap them as well we have to mm -hmm. let them know they got to push forward and push forward hard you can't have nothing in life nothing is in life comes great easy building your life is like building a home you got to build down the foundation you got right. to you got to put the brick on top of brick on top of brick you got to do all those things and that right there in itself is not easy but that don't mean you give up that don't mean you stop you're going to have some things that come in your life that's going to be a trial and tribulations black people have been faced with so many issues but we still persevere i think that we need to figure out where our strength come from I think we need to, um, like I said, you need, we need to go back into our communities and we need to grab those boys one by one and save them as much as we can. It might, like Paula said, it may not happen in our lifetime, but the goal is one day. One day mm -hmm. we can stop the violence. One day we can stop and heal our community and heal the pain because truly there's some mental illness going on in our black community that, that needs to be tapped on. We, we hurt too. We suffer too. It's not just other people. And saying all that, again, I say we're strong together. And check us out every single Sunday at 530. And we'll see you next Sunday. Bye-bye. I know it's taking me a little minute to put our little intro in. Sorry. Have a good one.